Hi everyone, this is Kier from Evolute and welcome back to our next session of the mesh optimization. In case you already know how to do the panel optimization, or you just missed our last tutorial, that is no problem at all. All of our videos and files for the follow along tutorials are available for you to download. Let us know if you are missing anything by following the link to our blog below. Ok, let's start and open the file for this session. It is basically the same mesh where we ended up being after the planarity optimization. I'm going to turn on the analyzing tool again so we can see that most of the panels are quite planar now. The planarity optimization is great, but there are even some more optimization steps that we can do. For example, here we have some scrunch up edges due to optimization process, where we started with our planarity optimization. Our mesh that now currently has many curves that makes our panels very unique. Our goal is to reduce this uniqueness with having the panels the same of the similar shapes. Firstly and most importantly, this will reduce our production costs and secondly the mesh will get a much smoother shape and look. We want the edges to have at least some length that are reasonable to build. So let's try and fix this in the current mesh. How the length optimization works is, we need to set a group of edges that will be evened out by the optimizer, so all of the edges within a group will have the similar length. So let's do it by clicking on Set Edge Length Optimization. We now have to create our groups of edges. Currently we don't have any group set yet, so just click on Create to make a new group. The default selection option Single Edge is fine here. As you can see here, the length is set to zero. Just leave it as is for now. We are going to select all the edges on the left hand side of the mesh. You can group the edges together however you like of course. It helps to play around and try to find the best solution. For now we will select all the edges that we want to optimize. In case you make a mistake while selecting the edges, just click on that edge again to deselect it. I have made 8 groups for this mesh by selecting the left and the right side of the mesh. Let me quickly show them to you. You can turn on the group selection again by clicking on the group itself and the selected edges will be shown up again. For the other groups I separated each of the sides into two groups to make sure they will be optimized evenly from the middle to the ends. As I said before, the edge length is still set at zero. We will check that value again in a bit. Now let's activate our edge length optimization by setting the ideal edge length to 1 in the optimization option. Make sure to have all the corners fixed before starting with the optimization. You can do that by clicking on set vertex corners and auto detect corners. Let's start with the optimization. The mesh looks more even and smooth now. Let's go back to the edge length optimization and check the length this time. For instance, the length of group 1 has been changed to 1.3 by the optimizer. Each of the groups has different edge length. The length is set to zero by default. This parameter allows the user to specify the common length for the edges within the current group. If the value is set to zero, the common length of the edges within this group won't be fixed and will be optimized according to the other optimization constraints. So this is what has just happened here. The length of the groups has been optimized according to the other optimization constraints that we have set so far. In other cases, it is even a necessity due to some production process requirements. The mesh looks quite smooth now, but let's turn on the analyzing tool for the edge length to have a better overview of the edge length. We have a range between 0.9 and 2.3 here, so we might have to make some changes locally. Let me show you how amazing the edge length optimizer actually is. With the optimizer, it is not only possible to do automated optimization, you can also locally make some adaption if you are still not happy with the outcomes that the optimizer has given you. Like these red orange edges here. Let's even them out along this curve. There is also another cool option to select the edges. Choose the selection option. 
polyline and click on one of the edges along that curve that you have in mind. That was a really helpful functionality, wasn't it? Let's also optimize those edges. As you can see, having the edges optimized will make your geometry look even and smooth. And in case you need to have the edges with some certain length, as I mentioned, due to some requirements, Evolute Tools Pro Edge Length Optimization also has the possibility for you to do that. Let me show you how to do that on these edges at the top. We create a new group for them and set the length of the group to 1.5. The optimizer will set the length of that group to the length that we have set and all the other ones for the other groups accordingly to the constraints. Let's quickly have a look. 1.5, that was what we wanted. So that would be the optimizing of the edge length with Evolute Tools Pro. You have just learned another important option to optimize your mesh and get one step closer to have your mesh ready for a less problematic but more cost-saving production. Our next step is to try and align our panels with the planes. That will make our edges more parallel to either here to the XY plane or to the YZ plane on this side. Subscribe to our newsletter and be informed about any updates. Thanks for watching and join me in the next video.